the culture is that if uh, it's your responsibility, if it's management's responsibility to um, monitor, take care of, nourish the culture, then you need to have a plan. And so what I'm going to suggest to you uh, initially, both of you, um, since you're talking about it, is to uh, first off determine where you want to go in terms of culture uh, and want to be careful because you don't want to, what's the expression, throw out the baby with the bathwater. You don't want to change uh, the part that's good if your company has a competitive advantage because it deals directly with customers on a first name basis, basis and there's a relationship established there. Then you don't want to you don't want to um, hurt that or eliminate that. That's a real strength. So as 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 the two of you look at how are you going to do the culture, remember that uh, you not only want to change the bad behaviors, the things that aren't done, the sort of um, the lack of productivity, but you also want to enhance those aspects of that culture that are uh, a plus that are an advantage or a competitive advantage. And so what I'm going to suggest is that the two of you go back to this again, look at where you want to go, where you are now, and what sorts of steps could you take um, in, in, in a certain time frame, and, um, and how would that actually look, okay? Again, you got to be real careful with culture because it's a strange animal. It's one of the it's it's people and it's groups of people and it's based on history and precedent and all sorts of things. Um, and you want to be careful about when when you change it, and you also uh, want to make certain that it's taking you where where you want to go. That's sort of a long and roundabout.